Yeah, hi students. I am Dr. Badrinath, and I am handling the biostatistic subject. And uh, here in this test, we will see what are the statistical tests. See, the statistical tests are two types. One is parametric tests, and another one is the non-parametric tests. Okay, these tests are there in your syllabus. See here, these are the parametric data, parametric tests, students' t-tests, etc. And all non-parametric tests. Okay, that topic we will see only. What is a parametric, non-parametric? We will see. See all the remaining tests I have explained in the separate videos, right? See here, parametric tests are the students' t-test. The competitive exams they will ask you which test comes under the parametric, which test comes under the non-parametric test. Like a choose correct option, like that. Say yes or no. In objective type they will ask. Parametric test, students' t-test. chi square test or chi square test generally it is calling a chi square test anova analysis of variance is called as a anova non parametric tests are sign tests sign you are doing sign no sign 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 not that sign no? i will like, tell you what is a sign means okay sign you keep in your mind sign signature wilcoxon signed rank test wilcoxon rank sum 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 means total okay rank sum test man whitney test also called as a u test it is also appeared in old question papers man whitney test is also called as u kruskal wallis test is also called as a h test okay now let us see what is the difference here only i am discussing what is parametric what is a and non parametric test that's it okay parametric tests used to assess the group means when there was a three groups or four groups or two groups whatever it may be you are comparing the generally means whereas here you are assessing the group medians i know you know already mean median mode etc i have already explained in my old video okay you watch that video your statistical data if it follows the normal distribution that is bell shaped distribution this also i have already made video okay follows the normal distribution then choose the parametric test your statistical data if not follows normal distribution then you choose the non parametric test so when you have to choose non parametric test when you have to choose parametric test that and all this is what what we are comparing in parametric mean what we are comparing in the non parametric test median that you keep in your brain parametric test advantages see here three advantages are there provide the trust worthy results with the distributions that are skewed and non normal provide the trust worthy results when two groups have different amounts of variability when two groups having a difference variability you can undergo the parametric test have a greater statistical power non parametric test better for some study areas not for all valid when our sample size is small sample size is small population is more and are potentially non normal non normal car can analyze the ordinal data ranked data and outliers okay only advantages you can be right if they will ask in the examination okay that's it so in the next video i am making on the students t test okay each test i will discuss one by one i will discuss okay i will not leave you okay you keep watching on my playlists i have kept in all subject wise right i will end my session here